Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Farhad and I have the website called Farhad Yummy. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful mandazi. They are very, very soft. I can say they're perfect. Like you can see, they got space in the middle and I did that on purpose. So yes, guys, are uh, very, very soft, like I said, and very, very delicious. So if you want to see full detailed recipe, then please feel free to click the link down in the description box. That link's gonna take you straight to my website where you'll be able to see everything. So in today's video, you don't need much things. You only need these things right here you need flour normally i use strong flour because it makes my mandazi perfect you also need cardamom powder sugar yeast you also need warm not hot coconut milk like you can see right there you need a bowl where you're gonna mix everything so put everything in there flour and then sugar cardamom powder, yeast, and mix everything together nicely. Okay, so now we're starting adding in the liquid. Please make sure you add bit by bit. You don't need to pour the whole coconut milk, otherwise you end up doing too much. So when the dough is kind of sticky, you're gonna add flour. And if let's say the dough is too thick, then you're gonna add more coconut milk but for now this dough is kind of sticky so i'm adding flour until i get the right size the way i would like my mandas to be otherwise if it's too sticky you can't work with it it's gonna be very very hard to roll so now i'm gonna transfer the dough on the wet top and start kneading it nicely until the whole flour is proper mixed and it's like it's ready to work with it. So this one right here is the right one. It's not sticky and also it's not too thick. If you can see on the wick top, there's nothing there like sticking or anything like that. So that's how you want it to be. We also need a tray where you're gonna put your mandazi. So now divide your dough into equal size and you're gonna form little balls. Like you can see, they're gonna be about five of them. Once you're finished, you'll start rolling them. So you'll be rolling bit by bit. So we are starting with one roll it nicely into a small round shape not too small like that you can see and then cut it in the middle like that and also the other side so you're having four quarters like you can see so now we're gonna put that in our tray the one we sprayed flour before this is the one now it's reached the triangle shape so when you're gonna cook your mandas should have nice shape all mandas should be stretched like that until you finish everything okay guys so look at my mandazi they are not too thick at the same time they're not too thin they're just in the middle but avoid too thick otherwise your mandazi is not going to be the same as mine put your mandazi somewhere where it's warm for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes it all depends with the weather and uh, leave it there until they double in size so this is after they have doubled inside i'll start frying them i don't know if you can notice the difference but you'll see as we fry okay have a bowl where you're gonna put your fried mandazi and make sure you have raw kitchen towel like that that's gonna help to suck all the excess oil you know so now put the oil in the pan and put it on the stove so they can get heat before you start frying them shake the excess flour and then put them in the oil but that oil make sure it's not very hot otherwise it's gonna burn your mandas outside at the same time then they shouldn't be very cold otherwise your mandas will suck all the oil so start frying them splash oil all over the mandazi like so it's gonna help you know mandas to have cracks keep on turning until you have the right color when you think uh you are happy with your color then take them out so these are my mandazi i'm taking them out Oh, for some reason this one didn't want to come out <laughs> anyway yeah finally have money to take it out and put in your bowl like that repeat the same process until you finish all mandazi so this is mine guys i've finished cooking them all and this is what you have so right now i'm going to show you how it looks like in the inside this is it 
it looks too big but it's not that fat inside can you see that space inside this is how it should be you shouldn't be having too much dough inside like that that was the reason why we wrote our mandas very thin so this is up close so you can see nicely and they're so soft mm, that tastes so good very soft and very thin not oily mandazi but also very very tasty from the outside they look nice and big but inside they're light that's how it should be okay otherwise we end up having donuts so we don't want that yeah anyway guys thanks for watching i hope you're gonna go ahead and try this recipe like i said if you want to see full detail recipe please click the link down in the description box that link's gonna take you straight to my website if you don't want to miss any video from me then please feel free to subscribe to my channel if you want to catch up with me then please feel free to follow me on other social networks everywhere i'm using for yummy if you want to see more dishes then please feel free to visit my website is www.farhayyami.com please feel free to request any dish whatever you want to see on this channel and also if you have any question please leave your comment down in the comment section once i've seen your comment i'll get back to you as soon as possible please don't forget to share this video anywhere it can be facebook whatsapp twitter and i I hope you're gonna go ahead and try this recipe thanks for watching guys i will see you in my next video thank you bye